This is the story of the cannibals in the hills of Chola Springs near the township of Armadillo in Red Dead Redemption. You can first catch wind of this side quest known as American Appetites in Red Dead Redemption by reading the local newspaper which headline reads People Missing in Chola Springs. Several residents of Armadillo and the surrounding area have gone missing over the past few months in separate incidences, but none have yet turned up, either alive or dead. Local law enforcement bodies are urging residents to show extra caution when traveling in the backcountry or on their own, or when traveling at night. With this tidbit and progressing through the single player story, particularly Marshall Lee Johnson's political realities in Armadillo, you can head to the sheriff's office and you will come upon a particularly upset weeping woman. Her name is Grace Anderson, and she is distraught. Oh, they took my boy, my boy. Who did? He's missing, he's only a youngster, my boy is missing. Where, who took him? Them people in the hills, them hills near Hanging Rock, they took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir, my son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. And with that, Grace Anderson has tasked us with finding her son, Ralph. The search begins by heading out to Hanging Rock, which is up north and quite a foreboding landmark for a poor son, Ralph. As we get nearer, we see that over to the east and north in the hills more, up in the Rockies, that it's actually marked on the map that her son has gone much further than Hanging Rock. And so we start to look around the area to locate him or what has become of him. Slow down. And it's there that we find what looks to be a leg bone or a femur, just a shoe and a lot of fresh blood. With Hanging Rock over our shoulder and the township of Armadillo in the distance, it's clear that he met a grisly fate, though we're not sure exactly what happened to him. The trail goes cold until you progress further in some single player missions in the story, helping Bonnie McFarlane break in some horses and also some more help to the local sheriff when you head back to the sheriff's office in Armadillo. This time you're confronted by a man overwhelmed with grief named Jeremy Parsons crying on the porch of the sheriff's office and it seems like nobody has an interest in helping these poor townsfolk solve the mystery of the missing peoples. <laughs> Mister? She's gone. Who is? My wife. She's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills near Hanging Rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? Oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> With the apathetic sheriff and his deputies making poor Jeremy fill out a form and him being beset with grief, especially the fact that he said that his wife Beryl isn't strong, but she's a good girl, indicates that he knows that something sinister could happen to her and obviously it would make him worry so much more being out in the savage west with all the bandits, the wild creatures and just the evil and danger that seems to be around every corner. So we head to Hanging Rock and it becomes apparent that it is actually the hills again which will be the scene of the crime. So as we head closer we see not only uh, a blood spatter which is reminiscent of what we saw with Grace's son Ralph, well whatever happened to Ralph, but also what appears to be a female's arm. Now this doesn't seem like the work of bandits, maybe she was shot dead, maybe animals got to her, but it's very clear that something sinister is happening in these hills and that it had happened recently which is scarier that the culprit is still hanging around they're striking multiple times and they could be watching us for all we know so john doing a little bit of detective work realizes there's there's not much else that he can do until we catch whomever or whatever is causing this carnage just raw carnage so again, we have to progress through the storyline and do some more of the single player missions. And then once more, the local sheriff's office, the quest line opens up, but this time it's actually 
an unidentified weeping woman inside the office. Again, no sheriff, no deputies inside. I'm thinking this whole Wild West adventure might have been the wrong decision. Hello. <laughs> you okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh, my God. If he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm with a family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> so... The weeping woman pleads with John to head back out to Hanging Rock and obviously you're starting to see a pattern with the local law enforcement. I wish I was dead. Let's go. And also with what you're probably going to find at the end of the trail. So as we head past Hanging Rock and straight over to the Rocky Hills in Chola Springs, we see a single man who looks like he's injured somehow. Now the first thing you could do is draw on him and shoot. But shooting first uh, seldom will do much in Red Dead Redemption. We don't know the story. We just failed the mission. Rest in peace, my friend. The second more law-abiding approach would be to confront the man and try and finally piece together what's been happening with the abductions and grisly murders in the hills. Oh, 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 mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> The man has told you that he's injured. He's definitely got a broken leg and it looks like he's suffered some wounds at the hands of an assailant. You assume that he's the victim like the previous ones that we'd come across and maybe we've saved him in time. His name is Randall Forrester. However, just about 10 yards in front of us, we can see a man who is dressed to match the description as a city fella and, and he's running. Now you can just shoot him in the back and kill him, but you will fail the quest and lose some honor as well. You can also then just draw on Randall and kill him, but again, you're just going to lose 50 honor, which if you're looking for a, a more nefarious reputation in the West, then that's gonna help you. But you don't really find out exactly what had transpired between the two men. Now you can chase the unnamed man down. Why won't you people just leave me alone? And hog time, he obviously seems pretty distraught. You're all crazy! Calling you crazy, why won't you leave me alone? And he's in need of help. So you hog tie him, uh, retrieve him, and bring him back to an injured Randall Forrester for some much needed country justice for this. This is a nightmare! <laughs> evil city slicker. Don't take me back to that man! This city slicker thought he could come out into the hills, kill people. Please! I'll do anything! Well, he's being caught red-handed, and Randall Forrest is going to get his own personal justice. He's a damn lunatic! Oh, oh my good oh. lord! Please get that man away from me! Uh, uh. Hey, fella! <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister! Uh, this maniac tried to eat me! We've got cannibals in these here hills! Please help me! What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh. <laughs> Save me from this freak, please! Please. <laughs> now in true Red Dead form, uh, you can either leave the man to his grisly fate or kill the cannibal and free him. There will be different rewards for your choices. Obviously you can gain dishonor and infamy if you just walk away and let Randall have his sumptuous meal. I'm presumably continue to prey on innocence in the township of Armadillo. Come on! 
obviously you're going to get uh, different rewards being if you do kill the cannibal and save the victim, 100 honor and fame. I'm just all heart today. Or you can actually handle Randall in a different way. You can get more creative. You can hog tie the cannibal Randall and save the victim. It'll give you 100 honor and 50 fame, though. You can't drop him off to the sheriff's office. Funnily enough, I tried. It seems like they really don't care about this case whatsoever. But if you are so inclined to get some form of justice and maybe you want to get an achievement or just have some fun, there is, of course, the dastardly perk for putting him on some train tracks and letting the train take care. I think that's a fitting end to the cannibal. Now, this does have a mission unlockable that will help you out, which is the deadly assassin's outfit scrap. So it's a part of a greater mission and it does kick off the strangest storyline. It's one of the darker, better stories. I think just a, a great side quest to, to show you the depravity in the West and also the apathy of the law. The law is so quick to tax, to, to get their nose in business where it's not wanted, as Dutch says, you know, to colonize and to take over and expand aggressively. But when people are in real need, when you see people who are just left to the wayside and their families are butchered, if it doesn't, you know, fit the bill or they don't have enough resources, it's, it's, too, it's still the wild west. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video. I'm starting this series, which is going to cross over to Red Dead Redemption 2. If there are any other videos or stranger stories that you want me to outline, uh, let me know in the comments below or talk about your favorite missions in Red Dead Redemption. And I'll be making sure to cover them in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.